Are you just gonna stand there gawking? Yes. At the start of Fifty Shades Darker, the sequel to 2015's Fifty Shades of Grey, we find our heroine, Anastasia Steele, working at a publishing company for the seemingly great Jack. Well, at least to Anastasia, he's great. Everyone in the audience will know he's clearly a villain. He has to be. Jack's last name is Hyde, as in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Fifty Shades Darker is not a subtle movie. Directed by James Foley and based on the E.L. James novel, Fifty Shades Darker is the perfect companion to the original movie. Not only is it an unsubtle film, there is little to no chemistry between Dakota Johnson and co-star Jamie Dornan, who plays Christian Grey. And that's unfortunate, because this is supposed to be some sort of love story. As the saying goes, love comes in all shapes and sizes. In the case of Fifty Shades Darker, it means both members of the couple, but mainly Anastasia, doing things they'd rather not, over and over again, in order to keep the relationship and the movie going. Take him off. Right in here? Right here. Christian can't stop being the controlling guy he is, which causes Anastasia to get angry and then not angry. She wants to go slowly and then she doesn't. She doesn't want to be in his red room and then she does. And while people do change their minds regularly, Anastasia never seems to do so for any particular reason. The entire film is built on a relationship, one that relies on a sense of magnetic attraction between the two stars, but that magnetism simply isn't present. There's no steam, there's no heat. An attempt is made to ignite the flames of romance via the soundtrack, but it is a poor substitute. The problems with Fifty Shades Darker, however, don't stop there. The dialogue is not particularly good either, with a number of serious lines sounding laughable. Okay, fine, I will have dinner with you, because I'm hungry. Those looking for a deeper backstory about Christian and why he is the cold, controlling man he is will be pleased to learn that Fifty Shades Darker offers some more details about his childhood. We are also introduced to the woman who taught him the ways of BDSM. The story of Jack Hyde never goes anywhere, and while the mystery surrounding a previous partner of Christian stalking the couple is sort of tied up, it would be pretty easy for her to return in the next film. On the plus side, Fifty Shades Darker does throw out a lot of ideas for potential plots. It repeatedly spins up notions of conflicts between Anastasia and Christian, or of outside forces that threaten to keep the two separated. All too quickly, however, the movie seems to grow bored of these ideas, tosses them aside, and then maybe has a sex scene. For more movie reviews, stay tuned to IGN. The check, please.